Hello, and welcome to 8020's product highlight series. Today, we're going to take a look at pivot plates. This connector allows bars to be positioned at various angles. They're easy to install, require no machining, and are available in both fractional and metric. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind with the pivot plate is it's a standalone part, and bolt assemblies will be required to install it. More information on 8020's bolt assemblies can be found in the 8020 product catalog. Now when it comes to installing the pivot plate, the first thing you want to do is preload your hardware. Preloading not only makes it easier to install your plates, but also saves time during assembly. Now to finish up, I'm going to put one last bolt and one last T-nut into this plate. Now it's important when you're using your T-nuts to have the pilot projection facing downwards or away from the plate. Get that preloaded on there, take our bar, slide the plate on. Now we'll hold that into place and grab our other bar and line up the center holes. Once we have those lined up, we'll take our center bolts one by one and feed them through. We'll get that one on there with a hex nut. We'll hand tighten it down and we'll do the same thing on the back. We'll get a bolt, feed it through, get a hex nut on it and hand tighten it down as well. Now once you got those on there, we'll go back to that plate we put on and tighten it down the rest of the way. Once we got that secure, the last thing we got to do is find our desired angle that we want. That looks just about right. We'll take our other wrench and tighten down those center bolts. We'll get that in there for a secure connection. 